station within the Amandala newspaper's office space is today shorn of one of its most promising up-and-coming young writers. The headline on Friday's broadsheet, its bold caption reads, The Greatest Love of All, would be the last published article composed by the 27-year-old scribe. Kareem Clark, Remo or Snook as we fondly knew him, was cut down in the wee early hours this morning in a storm of gunshots. This morning, about 1 a.m., police uh, visited the can of Lakeview Street and Vernon Street, where they saw the lifeless body of Karim Clark, 27 years, journalist uh, with gunshot injuries to the abdomen and chest area. Uh, after he was taken to the cage image, where he was pronounced dead on arrival. In just two short years, Clark would establish himself as a highly regarded writer, his name appearing on the bylines of numerous pieces. Since joining the Kermandala family in July 2013, he has displayed a workmanship that is second to none in this profession. On various occasions, he reported to assignments in different capacities, foremost as a newspaper journalist, and every so often as a radio announcer or cameraman. Clark's mother is at a loss for words, her only son, now a victim of the very gun violence he prolifically recorded. We don't really know what's going on. Up to now, we don't know. All we know that he gets shot in the head. But we don't know really what caused it. Neither do Belize City Police. Despite a steady stream of rumors in the wake of the misfortune, a motive is yet to be determined, much less an arrest in the homicide case. Incidentally, Clark met his end in the same vicinity where two other young men perished in gunfire two weeks prior. No, we don't have a motive. Uh, we know uh, he came from that general era. He went to visit someone there, and then he was targeted when he was uh, riding uh, near to the bridge. The patrols are in that area. There's a checkpoint in that area, and uh, this shooting happened. Uh, the checkpoint is uh, situated uh, closer to the entrance of the Mayflower. This happened at the can of Lakeview and Vernon Street. Clark's elderly mother was at home in bed when she received word of the tragedy. Well, we never get a call. Uh, just the paramedic lady come call me and say that um, Karim just get shot in the head on Vernon Street and uh, look for care the body now if we could come. So I say, I can't, I, I tell her I'm not going. So I make his sister gone, Melanie Young. Make sure you gone, right? So when she gone, tell me, see up on the ground. The blood, the gas out, and the two eyes still wide open. Sunday night, sometime around 8 o'clock, would be the last they'd see him. His older sibling describes Kareem much the same way as we've come to know him, easygoing and fairly quiet. He was no troublemaker. The only thing my brother got into trouble with was weed. was the only thing. Yeah, call me, I said, sister, I did a station. Melanie, jump and then go and go. You know? Only problem, the only problem I want with the thing name. Only problem I have with my brother. Now, in our small circle as reporters and uh, media practitioners, Karim was an up and coming journalist. Um, personally, I've seen him grow in terms of his writing over the past year and a half or so. Talk to us a bit about your brother in that sense, um, his desire for wanting to be a reporter and how he got involved with Amandala. I really don't know how he got that passion, you know, but he loved to write from, he was going at St. Joseph and at E.P. Ark. He was an, an a student at E.P. Ark High School and my children are following in his footsteps. Clark was fatally shot to the left side of the forehead, back of the head, abdomen, right upper back and middle of the back. Police have since recovered eight expended 9mm shells from the scene of the incident. Reporting for News 5, I am Isanaket.